But uh, when it comes to the NFL, it sucks to start off on a negative note. But I guess we got to talk about the Ravens and Trey Walker. Yeah, now, man, it's upsetting. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, a lot of people don't know, uh, you know, before this happened, who he was. But, you know, he was a former fourth round draft pick, I think, uh, last season for the Ravens. He was pronounced dead Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern time. His agent, Ron Butler, told Fox News that the Miami-Dade Police Department spokesman, Detective Dan Ferrin, told the Baltimore Sun Walker was riding his Honda dirt bike, not street legal, no lights, and uh, was in dark clothing. He was riding the bike on Northwest 75th Street, and... Um, he was struck by a woman driving a vehicle, and she wasn't hurt, but, um, you know, the 23-year-old Trey Walker, Baltimore Ravens pick, he was killed late, or he died later in the hospital. Um, now, uh, this happened in Miami, where he's from. They are going to have a public viewing for him uh, Friday, and this is at the Missionary Baptist Church, and then there will be a closed uh, funeral for the family and everything like that. I mean... I guess, I don't know, do you guys have anything to say about that? It's pretty much just the long and short of it. I mean, it seems like a player gets killed every off-season. Every off it's become kind of a routine thing. It, it's sad, but it is what it is. Yeah, um, it, it's upsetting. And not only that, the fact that, you know, uh, I, I've gone out on dirt bikes and things like that and had some fun with those. And sometimes, you know, they are in questionable condition, uh, especially one with like a, a, a faulty little clutch. <laughs> that was that was bad. But, um, you know, uh, it's unfortunate. Um, you know, the I know the Ravens, uh, you know, but you know what? Um, I think that just gives the Ravens a little more morality, you know, because they have something more to fight for this season. You know, they got a, a memory of a young man. So, um, I'm yeah. sure they'll be like honoring him somehow. I don't know. Maybe they'll wear the, the number, whatever jersey number he had, the little sticker on the helmet or it's, something like exactly. that. I'm sure they'll do so, something. You know, that, so that. That defense is usually tough, and uh, I think now that they have a, you know, uh, that morale. You know, to come around uh, in a, and and overcome a tragedy in their team. You know, this should be a let's keep all eyes on these uh, Ravens because they they're gonna do some big things. You know, because they're gonna be playing with heart. Yeah, now let's keep it with the Ravens, but jump over to some more football-related stuff. Now, uh, Rob Mandy, he's an AP pro football uh, writer. Um, he says that Ravens head coach John Harbaugh has said the team has come to an unofficial agreement with Trent Richardson. Now, Trent Richardson, everybody remembers him. He's only 25. I did not realize that he was only 25. Yeah. He was only I, drafted I know, four years ago. I know, but I'm just saying he came out. He was a big deal. He, he fizzled out. He's already done. And I'm like, I, I just thought that would have took longer to happen. But anyway, they've come to an unofficial agreement with the 25-year-old running back. Like I said, he was the number three overall pick out of the 2012 draft um, coming out of Alabama going to Cleveland. Now, Cleveland unloaded him just after uh, the second game of his second season over to um, the Colts. And um, after the 2014 season, you know, or the 20, he was released by the Colts and then he signed with, who was it, the Raiders? And yeah. then got cut before got cut uh, final cut. cut. Yeah. And he wasn't even on a roster last year. But, I mean, it looks like they're having him come in as a number two for Justin Forsett, who had 641 yards on 10 games last year. He, need, he needs help over there. Um, and not only that, uh, you know, there's uh, you know there's a lot more offensive weapons uh, getting uh, involved over there in Baltimore. So, yeah, watch out. And not only that, Steve Smith's going to be coming back, and you know this is going to be like his last year. So, and he's going to fight. So, uh, yeah, watch out for these Ravens. Yo, one thing I was surprised about, and I Never think more. you were too, Sean, when we were talking about it before. I didn't realize he had 17 touchdowns. I thought that. Yeah. I didn't think. Hmm. I would. He guessed. only has 3.3 yards of carry, but I did not realize. I thought he had far less than that. Like I said, he fizzled out in no time. Yeah, he hasn't really been what everyone thought he was going to be. Yeah, that's, number that's three overall sure. pick, running yeah, back. But, yeah, that's, but maybe as a number two, you know. He had an all right rookie Justin. season yeah, with Cleveland, right. but then he hasn't been anywhere near what he was projected to be since then. 
But they also, what, I think they also still have that uh, Talaferro guy there in the backfield and that working Talia with Talaferro, yeah, with yeah. Uh, Lorenzo Talaferro. Yeah. Yeah, he, he's an all right. Yeah, uh, so they, so they, so they'll have, they'll be able to rotate people around like they were last year. They're gonna rotate people around because I, I know how their backfield worked because I drafted uh, Justin Forsett in my fantasy league, so I kept a big eye on him, and uh, you know, with him getting hurt, kind of hurt me a little bit. Um, but uh, yeah, between him and Stu. Go figure, man. I, you can't. I can't get right when it comes to the uh, the running backs. <laughs> it's going to be interesting to see how much playing time uh, Trent Richardson actually gets there. Yeah, he'll be about, like like I said, he's going to be like number two. He's That's what be, I see. No, I think number there. two. I, I see Talia Farrell probably being yeah. number two, and then yeah. Trent Richardson maybe. You know, on a third down and short or something like that, they might throw him in there just to see what he can do. But I, let's I don't remember, know. Forsett only played in 10 games last year. Forsett goes down. So well, yeah, he, he might got, be coming in, you know, at a increase. He got hurt last year, More right? than half yeah. the season. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Well, he played in 10 games last year. Yeah, so that's more than uh, half yeah. the season, though. Well, you know, that's better than some of these other Oh, you're saying he played in more, more than yeah, he's I thought you were saying he missed. Season, all right, yeah. all right. But if you guys are good there with uh, the Ravens, I'll... All right, how's everybody doing out there today? Thanks for tuning in to this special edition Voice of Bedlam podcast. If you want to take that next jump with your business or company, you need to come over and advertise on the Voice of Bedlam podcast. Get your ad heard by thousands on a reoccurring basis. Just click buy now and send us your info. Thanks a lot, guys. 